So guys, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today I am going to check out Life View within a video the supposedly amazing AFK farm exploit where you can earn tons of trophies and tons of money. Now I've seen, well I've been posted, like people share videos with me all over my Discord. Um, I've been sent videos from this person, from that person, it's all the same thing well saying that it's an amazing farm or they saying that it's an amazing farm in their videos they're earning 800 trophies overnight and she's like this and i'm like well, that's pretty good i gotta test this out for myself because i want to see it now what i do notice is within their videos no one's crediting the actual original uploader they all claim they found it this that and the other but i actually found the original uploader uploaded it way before anybody else uh, and it's a guy called Vespux um, and I'll link him down below within that uh, video description. Do check him out and show him some love. He, as far as I'm aware, is the first person to upload this. So credit to this dude. So what you need to do is, guys, get into a chase, a, a level 4 chase at night. I'm obviously here in the day just so you can see where I'm at. And you need to come up here. So level 4 chase, come up here and stand right in this corner here and just crouch down. And you'll see loads of the volatiles just running around here, going wild. And they're all like basically accumulating that building right there and then die and you can just farm them. Simple as that. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to make it dark, make it nighttime. We're going to get a level four chase. And I'm going to come back here, guys, and see exactly how this works. It's amazing. We're going to find out, guys. I mean, I don't know why people need these trophies anymore. with The blueprint upgrade exploit and that kind of shit, but... I guess you can you can sell these trophies for money if you've got no other way of earning money but you could even you could earn money right here guys you could kill these dudes make them respawn kill them again make them. these guys can drop up to 200 coin each and they constantly respawn you could do that but you know we'll, we'll try this out anyway so what i'll do guys is i'll cut the video i'll make it um night time and then i'll uh resume Okay, so I've just dropped me all over the ledge of where we've got to be, guys. I'm just going to try and make it a level 4. Uh, I'm just going to just run around here and just kill shit, you know how it goes. Using my Kadoom shotgun, because it just makes things way easier. Come on, then. As you know, I'm, I'm going to have to do this exploit again, you know, because the Kadoom shotgun is almost out of ammo. Almost out of ammo. And don't worry, guys, I will show the location of where this is. Um, when actually getting to the spot you need to be at, which will be in a second, no doubt about it. Well, you know, I didn't even notice my health was so low. Tell hey, what these zombies have done to me, jeez. Get off there! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I'm getting spat on here. Get off there. Get off there. Spit a dude down there can't quite get me. Tempted. Tempted to take him down. What are you doing, mate? Not in, mate. Spitter. It's going to. Level it, you know, I level up to a four, like we will we'll be here all day, and I'll cut the video back. Okay, guys, so I've got to a level four now, so I'm just gonna go up to the spot, which is right here. You stand right in the corner out of the UV light, let's crouch right on the edge, and supposedly you gang up in there and then just keep dying. So you'll see where I'm on the map right here. And um, it's quite early in the night. Um, I'm right there, guys. As you can see, right there. Okay, so just let them uh, spawn up. Actually, let's quickly check how many trophies I have first. Not, I, don't, I don't know if I've got that many, if I'm honest with you. Well, I've got quite a few. <laughs> I've got quite a few. Okay, so keep them numbers in mind. Let's just see what happens. I mean, so obviously you can edit videos, you can make things look much better. I mean, I've been guilty of, guilty of that in my early years of YouTube. So I know how it works. I know how it works, but AFK, I mean, you're just sitting here and not doing nothing really. 
So I mean, like these these dudes just run and die and run and die. But I've got a funny feeling that they may just despawn. They may just despawn. He will have to go and entice them again. I don't think they're just going to endlessly spawn here. I really don't. We'll see. We'll see. Alright mate, how you doing? I mean, can I put my controller down? I guess I can if I wanted to. I guess I can if I wanna. Drop a med pack on myself. I was getting butchered down there guys trying to get to a chase for. I was getting spat on from every angle you can imagine. I mean it's seemingly working so far. I mean I guess it's easier than sitting on the street, so and killing them. I mean, I could kill these guys here in my Kadoom quite easily. I could kill them in there quite easily. Probably quicker than what they're dying here. If I'm honest with you. Hmm. It's interesting. And I've got one virus, uh, volatile inside the building. I noticed there at the end there were. Uh, Jumping down and running back up. You see that? You see that one that just jumps down and comes back up. There's probably a better let, a better corner to maybe stand on so they don't comp, jump down. Hey, okay, have how long I've been doing? This? Let me check. Not too long, to be honest. Let me check on my recording. Hmm. Couple minutes maybe. Couple minutes, maybe. I mean, it'd be interesting to see how many bodies are actually in that building. Now, it doesn't look like they're despawning. This could be quite decent. Remember, you gotta stay out of the UV light. If you, if you go into that UV light, um, yeah, obviously it will stop the chase. And I did hear someone say that if you if you stand up here, you can get spat on by the dude, the spitters down there. So yeah. Right here, guys. Or just a couple of tea bags, you know what I'm saying? A couple of tea bags. Yeah, but this is it seemingly working quite well. It's seemingly working quite well, people. Uh, okay, so. I've gone down there now, there's none up here. There's a guy across there. There's none here. So this is what I was actually afraid of. This is actually what I was afraid of. I'm gonna have to go and entice them back. Alright mate, I'm here. Come and get me. Come and get me boy. If I run back here. There we go. Yeah, you will have to entice them back. So it's not really AFK in the sense of you can put your keyboard or controller down. It's AFK in the sense you don't have to shoot or kill anything. <laughs> it, it, yeah, but it, it's still alright, it's still alright. It's not bad. But like I said, I don't know if I'd be quicker killing them though. I honestly don't know if I'd be quicker just shooting them. I think it would be because now they've gone back down there again. Oh no, there's one come back up. I was running away. That guy's running away. Go across over here. See if I can entice them back up. There's more spawn in there. Alright mate, come and get me. Can you come and get me as well? Come on. Come on boy. See this is the problem, a lot of the time they will run away. Come on in. Come on then, boy. Let's go back here. Come on in. I'm on the corner, am I not? Yes, I am. So there we go. I'll show you exactly what. I mean, you guys can try this. It may work, work, work differently for you guys. Um, so I'm here. In quarry end. It's actually a mission here for me as well. I'm just going to open my can of Red Bull and sit here. 
Oh, my kind of everyone in the city, yeah. Come on. You see, the thing is, as well, if you're killing these guys, you'd actually get combat XP for them. Well, you can't actually use your weapon here. Yeah? Ah, oh, so that makes makes sense, I guess. That makes sense, I guess. I can't draw a weapon here. Not letting me do that shit. Now, obviously, the bodies will despawn, but they should leave bags there. They should leave bags there. You know what I'm going to do, guys? Is because I don't want this video going on for 30 minutes. Um, what I do is I speed this process up, and you'll see that. And uh, uh, obviously, if I got to go and entice them back, I will do that as quick as I can, just to see in the morning exactly how many bags are here and how much we can actually farm. Okay, so that's what I'll do, guys. So I'll catch you back in a quick second. Okay guys, so the chase has literally just ended. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it started off and it was going, well when I left it was actually going pretty good. And I started noticing the chase was gonna end by itself, so I had to run over here a couple of times because that's happening a couple of times. It's definitely not AFK. Well, um, I got a funny feeling there's gonna be a ton of loot here and a lot of bags. So I'm actually what I'm gonna do is guys, because I don't actually care about it, the trophies I've got on I me, mean, I'm gonna drop them all. I'm gonna see exactly how much we got here. Drop all, drop all, drop all. Okay, so if I remember I picked them up, if not, oh well. Okay, so let's see what we get. Old build manuals as well, so let's uh keep them in mind. Have I got any of them on me already? Let's drop the one. Okay, so we had the one of them. This is probably gonna be pain in the ass to remember I think but you know what old world wine you know what to be honest morphine there's no point in dropping I think <laughs> he's probably dropping all kinds of shiz what about the trophies if I'm honest and you could obviously get lucky with these old world manuals and shit but uh is that it Is that it? Is that all I got? Is that it? <laughs> they are just spawn out of this thing here. They spawn out of that there. I was watching them pop up. Oh, I just saw a bag there. There's another bag. Yeah, there's one left. I ain't missing nothing. I'm going to get everything here. thing is that what it is, they run up. We run out of here and the majority of them run out here and run round there and they don't die unless they're dying on the other side which I don't think they are do they drop down and die maybe but there's one bag so one of them died okay two bags oh yeah so they are dropping down here so let's see these these all these all count but they see these here guys these bags down there well, this one definitely ain't, but they could be from the, uh, the zombies I slayed earlier on when I was trying to get a chase level thingy. This is what, yeah, they definitely are. So, yes, let's see what we have in my imagery. Let's go back up there first. Right, I'll tell you guys if I think this is worth it. <laughs> uh, no. Nope, 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 not at all, not on your skibby scooby doo. You know what I'll do? 
I'll pick up all of these as well, just in case. Just to prove a point here. Get out of it. Get out of it. I'll pick up everything here. No point in farming you. That's cheating. So we'll actually we'll actually collect all the trophies from getting the chase to a, a level four as well. Now I don't remember killing this many things, but you know what? All right, mate. Is that it? Any more bags here? This guy's what? What is? What is going on? Why are these guys just throwing themselves off to the I know, I, I'll take that. I'll take that loot. Yeah, that's it, people. So I got... Jack Diddley Squat. So, although it's a... Uh, a decent farm for the Volatiles, I got 22, 2 and 21. So, you know what? I'm just going to quickly jot these down. And we're going to go and sell these and see how much money you can make from selling these two. Um, so, let me move that off the screen for a second. So, of the uniques, we got 22. Fair enough. Uniques, 22. Okay, for the infected rares we got two shit <laughs> rares we got two and for the uh uncommons we got 21 uncommons 21 i mean we got a couple of uh, rations you know we'll start the rations we we'll sell the morphines, we we'll sell the old wood manuals, just for the benefit of the doubt, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my other trophies now. I'm not leaving them, that's why I wrote them down. Fair enough. Let's go now to a place where we can sell these. So, where we got? Where we got close? Actually, don't have anywhere that close. <laughs> So what we we'll do is we we'll just run to a place, I'm guessing. Why do you guys I'll cut the video? I'll resume it when I get to somewhere. I'll go to this dude. I'll catch you in a quick second. Okay, so I've just landed next to a an NPC who sells and buys. We've got to get off the flipping roof. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we're gonna sell um me trophies. So it was 22 uniques. Okay, so sell. So 22 times 16 equals 352. So, okay, let's just put that there. 352 gold, man. Wow. Shit, I'm a millionaire. Okay, so let's sell them. 352. Okay, of the. Of the uh, rares, we got two. Let's get ten for these bad boys. Ten, Jesus man, this is pretty bad. Ten, okay. And of the the uncommons, we had twenty-one. Twenty-one, shit. Twenty-one, so we get forty-two. Forty-two. Okay, so it's not looking good so far. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell. What else did we get? We got the old wood manuals. We'll sell these. Okay, this ain't too bad. So for the complete set, even though I already had one, we got 2200. Okay, 2200. Fair enough. So just shut that down too. 2200. Okay. Um, we definitely got a couple of uh, morphines in old wood ones. So we'll sell these as well. So we've got 1200 for them and I'm guessing it's going to be 1200 for these two. Yes it is. Okay, so that's 1200. 
Um, did we get anything else? I know we got a couple of pill, these, that, and the other, but to be honest, um, rations, I think we got a couple of the rations. Let's do that. Four rations at 800. Okay, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Cooking with gas now, cooking with gas. And did we get anything else? Um, not really. So let me just quickly add that together. Okay, so a total, guys, for so one whole night of standing there, including getting that chase to a level four, because it's obviously included, I got 5,806 gold coins. 5,806 gold coins. So yes, this AFK farm for volatiles and trophies, in my opinion, is not worth it whatsoever. Well, guys, on that note, I am ending the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Dying Light, be sure to subscribe and hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.